you are suing your son. This is a cutting of ties that needs to happen. I agreed as long as he was a student and was on the football team, I would help him a little with his bills. I find out he drops out of college and he doesn't tell me. She was definitely aware because uh, I had actually had an ankle injury and uh, I didn't feel judge, like continuing judge, the football judge. season. He broke our circle of trust. Plaintiff Charlene DeChico says she promised to support her son as long as he stayed in school. But when he dropped out without telling her, she got stuck with his bills. She's suing for $4,260. Defendant Harrison Block claims he's been working for his mother and he doesn't owe her a dime. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Good morning, Judge. Morning, Naj. This is case number 052 on the docket, the Chico versus Bach. Thank you. And You're welcome, Judge. Good morning to you guys. Let me see. We have Charlene DeChico, and you uh, apparently are suing your son. You're suing your son for $4,260 for what you call unpaid rent, cell phone bill, wow. gym cost, and food and transportation. Before we get into the details of the case, I'm assuming you two love each other, right? Absolutely, yeah, Judge Jerry. This is not, we're not here to question the love. This is a financial cutting of ties that needs to happen. Go ahead, Charlene. Thank you, Judge Jerry. I have four amazing kids. I took in two kids as teenagers, so they're all adults, six adults. Harrison is my youngest son. And yeah. I even have a grandbaby that turned one who I've been focusing a lot wow. more. Okay, so Harrison's yeah. my youngest son. And, you know, Harrison and I were very close. We still are close, except we have this financial strain between us. And this money problem has grown out of control. We had an agreement, okay. and he broke yes. our agreement by lying. So he broke our circle of trust, okay? What was the agreement? Very simple agreement, okay? Harrison is a student yeah. at Santa Monica College. I agreed as long as he was a student at Santa Monica College and was on the football team that he kept his grades and made practice that I would help him a little with his bills, such as his rent, his cell phone, transportation. You know, that was the Where agreement. Where was he living in terms of the rent? Living in Los Angeles, not far from school, so he was a commuter, so there was some transportation staying in an apartment. We actually uh, dwell in the apartment together. And so the thing is, Harrison only has a small portion of the rent to pay as it is. When okay? he was in college, you two were living in the same apartment? Yes. And I have another son who also lives in that apartment who pays a full amount of rent and works two jobs. So the agreement okay. is, and all of my kids know that because they've all gone to college, that when you're in school, mom will help you out. But if you're not, you got to pay to stay. And they've all paid rent. No, there's no free lunch and free ride. So what happened was I find out he drops out of college and he doesn't tell me. So the... Well, well, okay, okay, that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. But if you're living in the same apartment... Sure. How would you not know if you're living in the same apartment that he's not going to class, that he's not going to school, that he's not playing on the football team. Sure. Well, first of all, Your Honor, I do work uh, two to three jobs myself, but Harrison was still taking the ride share out to Santa Monica, and I thought he was going to college or football practice, but he's deciding with my credit card, mind you, to go out on dates and hang out with various miscellaneous mm -hmm people or individuals out there and racking my credit card bill up through the roof and even going to the spa. So I'm thinking he's true. at football practice and he's out on a date. You did have an agreement with your mom that you would be going to college and while you were in college, she would help you out a bit with the rent. Yes, Judge Jerry, we did have this agreement. Judge so then why, when you dropped out of college, number one, why did you drop out, which you can have your own reasons, but mm -hmm. why, and then why wouldn't you have told mom? No, I told her. I mean, she actually knew because uh, I had actually had an ankle injury and uh, I didn't feel judge, like continuing judge, the football season. I disagree. Uh, that's so I was false like, you know what, I don't want to go to school anymore if I can't play football. And they were trying to have me wait like, you know, six to eight weeks to come back to play. And from there, I was just like, you know what, I'll just come, come back to it next year. So, I mean, she, she was definitely aware of me dropping out. I mean, she was aware of my ankle injury during the football season. When you were in college, how much rent were you paying at the apartment? So, when I was in college, the, uh, 
the rent was only 500 per month. If you're not in college, the rent is 600? Well, it's 500 plus the cell phone bill, which is $100 a month too. So it's the 500 plus the cell phone bill. When you were in college, Mm -hmm. your share of the rent was, you're saying $500 a month. Correct. Were you paying that or was your mom paying that? I was paying that. First of all, the numbers are not right. And this is what I mean. This is a classic example of the problem we're having. Harrison doesn't have his finances in order and he, he negates his responsibilities even with understanding what he's responsible for. His rent is $600, his phone is $100 additional. Harrison has the top of the line phone, cell phone, accessories, the whole bit. <laughs> He's even Sex made himself story. primary on my account, and I, I have to fight tooth and nail to get access. I ha- so the numbers are not correct. But the thing is, okay. he was supposed to get a job, and I even got him jobs that he flaked out on. And the thing with school, he I, I knew he had an injury, but it was never, oh, well, I have an injury. I'm going to throw my hands up and quit. That was never the agreement. Look, I, but I'm trying to figure out this rent Sure. Thing. Well, In other I words, have to pay the rent, rent should be owed. The rent, he should pay, let's say he should pay rent for when he's living there. Oh, no, he didn't pay when he was in college, uh, Your Honor. He did not. Mom is saying you weren't paying while she thought you were in college. You right. weren't paying the rent. I'm not talking about phone bill and other mm-hmm. stuff. Right. But you right. weren't paying her $600 a month while you were there in college. No, I mean, I definitely paid if, uh you know, during the months I was in college, I might have missed a couple months, but I was definitely okay. trying my best All to right. pay her. He's not living there now, right? Well, his stuff is there. He's physically not there. You know, we have this dilemma. Okay. So we're, we're so not able 3, to get along. So the three thousand dollars you're suing him for on the rent. Sure. That is based on six months' rent. Yes, for Your Honor. when he was living there. Is that what you're saying? Yes, this is money when he was living there, when he was not going to college. I have uh, evidence. Charlene, you gave me some pictures that you want us to look at your evidence. Look at Harrison. You could see a picture of him. I mean, he's dressed nicely today. It's, it's, he's good, but. Um, where did you get this picture of me by the car? <laughs> I oh, know. that's not me. That's I know. Harrison. I've been oh, stalking geez. you for years, you Judge wish, Jerry. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> well, Part of the bill was apparently to buy a six pack. <laughs> no, this is this, this, this is you, huh? Yeah, you know you gotta keep the washboard in check, Judge Jerry. That looks like a washboard. I look more like a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> but we needn't get into that. Yeah. So okay. Oh, and the and the, this is just you and your son. Yes. People say we look okay. alike, too. And, you know, he thinks because of his good looks that he can just get away with this and not have to pay rent. I have to pay rent. I have other properties. I even gave him opportunity to work in the properties and help yeah. out and live rent free in that I case. I know what you're talking about. He didn't I do have it. to I have to pay he my mortgage payments despite my good looks. I mean, look at him. <laughs> look at him. He you know. oh, Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Your Honor, well, you know, I want you to know that Harrison's birthday is in two days. You should know this, that last year... Well, happy th- birthday, Harrison. How old are you going to be? I'll be turning 22. 20. Oh, okay. Then I'm a little older than you. We celebrated okay, 22. His, we celebrated his birthday last year in China, and this year I had to take him and sue him in court for his birthday. I love my son with all of my heart. But, you know, the problem is, is that it put me in position of struggle. If I had it, I don't even know that I would, I wouldn't pay his responsibilities as a grown man. But certainly with all of the other kids and responsibilities I have, it's not fair that he put that on me. It's not fair that he kept the credit card without me knowing. Harrison, what do you want to say about this? You know, I thought I could make it up because once I left the apartment, uh, I was basically managing her property. So she has tenants... (laughs) In her house. Not true, Your Honor. And I was Wait, col- okay. Let him, I was, let him finish. Okay. Go ahead. I was collecting rent. <laughs> I, I was cutting the Where? grass back at her other uh, house, and I'm sending it to her uh, through the bank. And I'm cutting the grass, <laughs> making sure the house is up to like, making sure it's clean, making <laughs> sure everyone's following the rules. And are you getting any money for that? I'm getting no money. I mean, I just poured concrete steps in the backyard she- too, mm-hmm. and okay. she's over here are trying to charge me for you- rent. Are you living in that? Past. Are you living in that house? Yes, I am. Thank you. That could be interpreted in fairness 
yeah, you're getting to live in the house basically for free for taking care of the property. Right. Sure. In other words, there's, there's a balance there. Mm -hmm. Thank it's you. It's not like she's having you do this work for nothing and you don't have a place to live. In terms of the rent, the other side of me says, as a parent and a grandparent, et cetera, it's, it's hard to charge kids living the rent in their own place and yeah. sticking him with a $3,000 bill, particularly in today's economy, it's going to make it tougher for him to catch up. Well, Your Honor, I, was, uh, I particularly paid about 5000 during that time. That's the thing. I'm right. also paying. So, There's another property he could live at and not have to pay. But at this particular, everybody signed on with the agreement that we'd all have to help out. We just didn't have it like that. So that's why he's responsible well, for his portion. And you've got, and I understand, I don't want you to be nailed with all the expenses either. And right now, you're renting that property to somebody else. So it's no, not a no, continuing. No, no. no, that's not There's the no case. There's no one else living in that, no. in what was his. He made a comment about that, which I thought was really weird. Because yeah. my other son lost his job. He had two jobs. So he came to yes. me and said, Mom, this is the situation. I I'm going to have to do this. I might have to go back to Jersey and work. So what can we do? So we came up with an agreement to get someone in there to cover. So he didn't just walk out and abandon because the bottom line is I'm going to get stuck. And, no and why should I get stuck when I'm helping you already? So we came up with a solution. So there's someone in the house. And that's what I told Harrison. I said, you can't ride his wave because he had a solution for his problem. Like we all have this okay. problem. So mm -hmm. he has to Got figure it. out how he's going to handle his situation. And I have the evidence that he paid and then when he didn't pay. In terms of transportation and food. That we didn't get to that, Your that Honor. That is, I, yeah, but I'm not treating that as a business arrangement. Parents well, often wind up, even if their kids are 50, 60 years old, they still wind up oh. paying well, when for the things jobs for their that kids. I got that's, him, he actually i got him all right flight, so here's and he didn't he didn't show up for the work so that's why he's supposed to be responsible for that and he had a job to do and didn't do it and kept the money so i should at least get the money for the for the flight that's not you know he did the work and didn't give me anything and all he had to do was pay the flight what mm -hmm. do you have to say harrison when you hear what mom's saying well she she has a, a little bit of a point here but uh also she also paid for my flight to go back home so I could look out after her property. So that's a was, different yeah. time. That's a different time. Same time. There's six flights on the evidence. I have the evidence. If you look six at Exhibit X, where? you can see that it's on there. Okay. It's on there. There's All right. several flights. So where? I'm only talking about the money for the jobs that I got for family members that he burned okay. me on. And they had to be nonstop right. flights, by the way. Okay. Okay. I can tell you ahead of time, there's no question he should pay for the phone Thank bill. You. I mean, he makes the calls, he's a grown-up, he should, you should pay for your own phone bill. That is fair. Looking at the college stuff, normally, if your college-age kid is still living at home, most people would say, yeah, they're going to school, mm -hmm. I'm not going to charge my own kid for living in our home. Mm -hmm. But when you broke your agreement, mm -hmm. Harrison, to go to college, things changed, and it's fair for your mom to say, as she apparently does with your siblings, you know, we're living in an apartment, we're not rolling in dough, everyone's kind of got to pitch in here, and you're healthy and, you know... Strong. It's well, fair for her to say you can make enough money to pay the rent here if well, you're going to be living thing, here. Judge, now, sorry, if you're not once... living here now anymore... I get that, but the the $3,000 she's saying is for months that you did live there. Is that not true? Yes. Thank you. Okay. So let's put the rent stuff aside oh. for a moment. Here's what I see. Your mom has a point that, as with the other kids, with the, your other siblings, I don't want to necessarily call them kids, but uh, the other siblings, mm -hmm. everybody's kind of pitching in there. Mm -hmm. And... You know, you basically didn't keep your promise to your mom. And I would say, and this is just, if I were your dad or your uncle or your grandfather, I'm way too old to be, you know, if I were your grandfather, what I would say to you is don't be worried about losing this lawsuit. The greatest expense you're paying 
is by dropping out of school. Right. I know the football is the most important to you now, and I get mm -hmm. that, but you are going to be losing so much more than $3,000 by not getting your college degree in life, right. so much more. Whatever you can do to get back into school, even though it, you know, oh, I don't like these courses now, I'm telling you, as competitive as the world is now with the changing economy and everything, that diploma is going to be worth a lot more than what you can right. save on this lawsuit. Sure, so that's I, I just that. my free advice to you, and I, I really think you ought to be doing that. This is a family situation. It is not purely a business transaction. There are two values here that I'm trying to balance. The value that the son is old enough to now take on responsibilities for what he says he'll do, and for providing for himself and not stick it to mom. So I recognize he should pay, have paid the rent. I'm not arguing that it was not six months. It was. But I'm trying to balance the family needs here and the roles that you each play. One's a mom, one's the son. And so therefore, $2,000 goes to the plaintiff for the rent she is owed, $500 for the telephone bill, 225 for the gym bill, judgment for the plaintiff, $2,725. Harrison, you know I love you very much, and mm. I want you to know that I'll always support you. You know that. I'll be there for you. But I need to support you in better, healthier ways, like with going back to school, like Judge Jerry said. Mm. You know, the NFL is waiting for you, Harrison, and I want to be the one to help you to get there. And I don't want this money wedge between us. I just want a fresh start. This is a new year. You have a, a birthday this year. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a fresh year for you, and this is a new start for me and for us. Money cannot come in between us. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.